So, a quick little review of something we've already done is how to graph using the x and y intercepts. What we're going to do is we're going to find out where this graph crosses the x intercept and where it crosses the y intercept, and then we're going to go and sketch our line. If you remember, here's our y axis. At the y intercept, our x value is 0. And on our x axis, the x or the x intercept, our y value is 0 for any given point. So if I want to find out what the x intercept is, that means where my graph crosses the x axis, I'm going to say y is equal to 0. Because look at, remember, if you just think of this as like a number line, at this point, which is on the x, where the x-intercept will lie, y does not have a value, so y is 0. So x-intercept, all I'm going to do is plug 0 in for y. So I have 5x plus 2 times 0 equals 8. Therefore, 5x equals 8. Divide by 5, divide by 5. x equals 8 fifths. Now, you might initially say, well, that's going to be kind of hard to graph. You know, how am I going to really do that? Well, uh, well, you can kind of look at that and say, well, 5 is going to go into 8, you know, one time, and there's going to be a remainder of 3, right? And then 3 fifths is roughly, um, so you're going to pretty much go 1 and 3 fifths. So I need to go over 1, and then if you kind of broke these down into 5 sep equal sections, you'd go over 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I go over 1, 2, and 3. So that's approximately uh, 1 and 3 fifths. Then to find that y intercept, <coughs> so where the line crosses the y axis, I got to look at my x number line. And I notice that on this number line, my x value is going to be 0 because I'm not going to move left or right on this line. So therefore, x is going to equal 0. So I have 5 times 0 plus. 2y equals 8. Therefore, 2y equals 8. Divide by 2. y is equal to 4. So I go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I just connect my two dots. And I try to make a straight line. And that's going to be my equation. So the main important thing is when graphing using the x and y intercepts, is to find the x-intercept, you put y for 0, and then plot it on the x-axis. And to find the y-intercept, you put x equals 0, and you plot it on the y-axis. And so that's how you graph using the x and y-intercepts.